Hello, hello, it's Dumplet here. Here's an item on algebra. Solve for x in the equation below. 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 equals 2 over x squared minus 1. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now I label this item as a tricky algebra item because there is a part of the solution that we need to do some analysis on and let's try to see uh, what part it is and what makes this item a little bit tricky. So first and foremost, let's try to clear the, 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 the denominators just because it's very hard to work with fractions. So I immediately noticed that x minus 1 times x plus 1 equals x squared minus 1. So the GCD, sorry, sorry, the LCM of the denominators is just x squared minus 1. So let's try to start by multiplying both sides by x squared minus 1. Now, if I multiply both sides by x squared minus 1, uh, this first term becomes simply x plus 1. The second term becomes x minus 1. Let me just put a parenthesis just to see. And then we're going to, and it's going to equal to just 2 because the x squared minus 1 on the right side will just cancel. Now, this gives us a very interesting result because x plus 1, I'm going to distribute the negative sign, so it's going to be minus x plus 1 equals 2. Well, I know the x's here are going to cancel, and I'm going to get 1 plus 1, and I'm going to get 2 equals 2. So it seems here that uh, this equation is true for, it's true always, and, uh, but there's a restriction here, and that is to not forget that we have restrictions in the denominator, because none of these denominators can be 0. Now, it is indeed true that 2 equals 2 over here, but we, we shouldn't forget to always go back to the given and check um, whatever is needed. So the answer should realistically be all real number x, so all real numbers x, except for those uh, restricted values. So again, we're going to check these individual fractions, and we've noticed that uh, the denominators, sorry, we've Come to, we come to the conclusion that the denominators cannot be negative. So in the first one, x cannot be 1. And that's the only restriction in the first fraction. So x cannot be 1. In the second fraction, x plus 1 equals 0. So uh, x plus 1 cannot be 0. So x not equal to negative 1. And then for, the, for this part, we should, we should have x squared not equal to 1. And well, this is going to give you x is not equal to 1 or negative 1 anyways. And combining all these three like restrictions, we're going to simply get that x is not equal to 1 or negative 1. So our conclusion would simply be all real numbers x, such that x is not equal to 1 or negative 1, would satisfy the equation. Now this is a little bit unconventional, so we can write it as uh, an interval notation as well. So x is an element of, and this will be the solution set for x, so the set negative infinity to negative 1, union negative 1 to 1, union 1 to positive infinity, and uh, all parentheses here since it's an open interval. So, but anyways, whether you like the, uh, the, the first one or the second one, they're both correct answers. And that's the part that, um, that we want to talk about in this item because you might forget the restrictions in, uh, from the original given. Anyways, hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.